Tourist guide Carlos Seldran submits an appeal before the Supreme Court regarding his conviction in relation to the controversial Damaso protest. Nelma Ribok tells us why. Popular tour guide Carlos Cedran goes to Supreme Court to appeal his conviction over his Damaso protest inside the church. On January 2013, Seldran was convicted by Manila Metropolitan Trial Court for violation of Article 133 of the Revised Penal Code or offending religious feelings. This is in relation to his act of holding a placard bearing the word Damaso inside the Manila Cathedral. Padre Damaso is a known character in one of the Jose Rizal's novels who represents the abuses of the church during the Spanish colonial rule in the country. Seldran says the METC erred in convicting him with both the Regional Trial Court and the Court of Appeals affirming the decision. He says what his act do not constitute a crime because he has the freedom of speech under the Constitution. Aside from the reversal of his conviction, Seldran is also asking the Supreme Court to strike down Article 133 of the Revised Penal Code for being unconstitutional. I think we're going to now look at it whether the law is still valid because with the coming of the Bill of Rights in the American Constitution, uh, that negates now the Article 133 because the Bill of Rights enshrines freedom of speech. He further argues that freedom of speech is protected under the law because what one would say might offend or hurt the feelings of another. The Philippines is not only Catholic. Anything that you could say could offend anybody of any particular religion. That is why we have to protect freedom of speech, to make sure that people can speak their minds and be protected, kahit kung sino ang na-offend. Seldran also insists he didn't pull the Damaso protest during a mass but during a meeting of the officials of the Catholic and Protestant churches. He says he doesn't regret his action in the event that the Supreme Court ruled against him, he is ready to serve his sentence of two months to one year in prison. Nel Maribuho, reporting for Y News.